Hi, I'm Rebecca Lima. I work for Biophilica, a Brazilian company that invests in red projects in Brazil. I'm directly working with a project in the Amapá state of Brazil, South Amapá, and we work with partnership with another private company, uh, Jari Group. On this project, we, we work with smallholders in order uh, for them to have a more efficient land use on their land. So we try to find with them alternatives for them to produce more and better within the same uh, open land they already have without clean uh, new forests. And our biggest challenge uh, is land tenure. So land tenure clarification. I think it's not a, a problem that we only have there in Amapá, but it's a really Amazon-wide problem, the land tenure clarification. So uh, if you don't have a land tenure clarification, we can't really uh, distribute fair, fairly all the benefits from the forest. And thinking about the agriculture intervention that we are carrying with them, they are not able to assess rural credits without uh, really clear land tenure status. We are working closely with uh, governmental institutions through a stakeholder meeting called Technical Chamber. And on, under this meeting, we join the community members and the government institutions and discuss uh, this topic, most land tenure qualification, but also other topics that matter to the smallholders, uh, as education and health and production matters and, and other stuff. Uh, and this brings us to another, the second big barrier that we have, there, uh, that is the political instability. So every time we have elections, we have to build everything from the beginning again, because people that are in charge of the policies change and we just lost everything. So this, this has been the second biggest challenge that we have. For me, that I'm working on the ground with RED, it is important to have an international agreement because I think sometimes politicians don't see uh, the importance they have here and if they really get an agreement and I'm not talking about discussing little tiny detail, details, but if they have agreement, this will give us a level of motivation on the ground that they, they can imagine. So people, and I'm not, not saying just me, but all the, the farmers that I work with, all the NGOs, people working on the ground who have the highest level of motivation that we have ever, ever had. So this, will be really important in order for us to move forward and do more than, than the agreement expects us to do. Sometimes I see a little competition between project developers and I'd like to ask for all of us cooperation and solidarity because we are together in this and we're working together for the same cause. So ever and whenever we can exchange experience and help each other and exchange um, capacity building or our uh, technology transference that we do because sometimes we are really expecting the, expecting the rich countries to give us all the technology and knowledge and everything and we already are building this so we have this on our sides but we are not talking with each other and helping each other. So I'll ask a little bit of South-South cooperation within the project developers of RED.